We're live. Hey, Chaos. How are you? I'm doing good, Pamela. How are you? <laughs> You're so mellow. I'm good. It's May 21st, 2016. It is Saturday morning, and this is Chaotic Live. All right. Or Chaotic Talk on Twitter. Yeah, there you go. At nice. Chaotic Talk. Nice plug. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah. what's going on? I heard you had some new, um, some Oregon news. Yeah, we uh, we just had our first plea deal. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, I can't pronounce the last name. Can you give me you know, some help Liqueur. on that? Liqueur. Yeah, Corey Liqueur. Liqueur, um, yes. Basically um, has pleaded guilty to conspiracy charges, and um, they're recommending two and a half years in prison for him. So what did he? Did, I don't even remember him. Do you? No, I don't. But I, from what I read from Oregon Live, um, the the feds were ready to basically prove that he had uh, gun charges, and so he had a plea deal, just admitting to conspiracy. So did they, he have a history? Did he have a, a criminal history or something? I'm not sure. I just know that they were going to lay down the hammer on on uh, gun charges, and instead he he avoided it all and just had conspiracy. So what? And that's two years of prison. Two and a half years. They're, rec they're recommending two and a half years. That seems. I don't, am I missing something? Does that seem steep to you? It does seem steep. Very. I, yeah. I mean, I, I. I'm kind of blown away by that. I mean, I don't even remember him. I'm not, and I'm certainly not trying to take away his contribution. I have no idea what he did. Um, I find it, it kind of fascinating how many people there are that I never saw or heard about. And I was like live all the time with that show. I, I have that seen show. I almost I said that show. I really did almost say that show. That is hilarious. It, it is kind of like a show. And I have seen his face. I just never heard his name. But I've seen his face before. Like, I think in f possibly footage. I know I've seen his his mugshot before. So You have? Oh, yeah. Okay. When, I, when I saw his mugshot on Oregon Live, I, it immediately dawned on me I've seen this man before. So Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, this is a guy that probably many don't even know about. And whenever you have a guy that many don't know about do a plea deal, and it's it's to avoid gun charges, and he takes the conspiracy charge that, you know, was basically a blanket charge with everybody, it makes you wonder, you oh, know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and like how I'm, everybody? Yeah. I'm gonna say this now because I know there's gonna be more plea deals. You know, it's gonna be the summer of the rat. That's that's what I'm going with. The Don't summer of the rat. That. Don't the say that. The summer of the rat. That's not nice. Don't. I know say it's that. not nice. I know it's not nice, but I don't know. You're being mean now. No. Yeah, you are. I'm being summer funny. The, I'm being the, funny. Summer of the rat. <laughs> That's harsh, dude. I'm waiting for a certain rat to come out, actually. Dude, I'm you know, real rats are never going to show. I mean, you know, that's, <laughs> that's, that's their whole plan. They wouldn't be in prison. I mean, who knows? I mean, I, I, I did see that Ammon, Ammon Bundy was wearing pink and never saw I never saw the pink in jail before, but you never know. Oh, really? Yeah. He looked all... Oh, and in, in Arizona, um, that sheriff, what is his name? Aroparo, or I don't know. He he makes everyone wear pink. Why? It's it, well, it's actually that's that happens a lot in prison because it, it it's a calming color. It makes them calm. Hey, I thought it was orange. Oh, it's a calming color. Yeah. It's oh, interesting. Color. Yeah, it's all so, psychological. So. Oh my God, that's so weird. It works though. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Well, as long as it works, I mean. Look, if you're going to be locked up, you might as well you might as well be as mellow and peaceful as possible, right? It, it, it creates a docile, um, more docile. Because uh, these are hate. such violent guys. Oh my god, they're well, so angry. Oof. Oh yeah. I mean, Pete Santilli maybe, but not the other guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just like actually, I don't even think Pete Santilli is an angry guy. To be honest with you, I mean, I think the whole thing is like kind of that's part of why when well, his was, parents did say he has a temper. Whatever his parents, who knows what went on with his parents? I mean, it's like that's weird. They were they were estranged, so Whatever. they could be just talking smack on them. So. That's right. They could be assholes. We don't know. I mean, you never know. I mean, it's so weird to just like have a snapshot of somebody's life and just judge it on that. It's so odd. 
because mm-hmm. it's like without real true background. I mean, I mean, real background, not not just like you know. Well, let's like take well, a look. I know. See I know. I can judge by by uh, what I've seen of his history that he uh, he does have a temper and he is a bit of an asshole. So yeah, he probably isn't. Yeah, he's a little bit of an asshole. Yeah. Just based on history, you can look up. So I don't know the man. Just do some research on him. So. Take but did he harass a six-year-old child that nobody's ever seen or heard about? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want <laughs> to say am, that. Like, that yeah. I am unaware of. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think I think pretty much that doesn't really happen. That's just really good chitter chatter. Yeah, I think if you show someone's Facebook and their, um, you know, their their main page on Facebook has a kid, I think that's called threatening a kid, right? I don't know. I don't go on Facebook, so all yeah. I can say is, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what I heard. That's what I heard. People are saying that if you show someone's Facebook and on, on their main page, it, there's it, a child. There's a kid. You know, yeah, yeah. that's like threatening. That's amazing, isn't that it? That is amazing, especially since the mental the mental leaps, the gymnastics that are taking place are just it's just outrageous. Isn't it? Well, considering I don't. Um, I don't uh, mess with children and I don't um, release people's information and I do not go on Facebook ever. And that's actually like a hard rule for me. I haven't been on Facebook in, I think it's close to five years because I think, you know, there, I, I have issues about um, Facebook. Like I think what it was, was I went on, First of all, every time I was I've ever been on Facebook, I've always been like, ugh, like it's just like so exhausting to me. And like people, I, I okay, now this is gonna sound mean, but it's not meant to be mean. Okay, <clears throat> it was just it was this is a personal thing for me. My second grade class contacted me on Facebook. They had a reunion. <laughs> wow. And I don't know why. First of all, I was so touched by it. I, I honestly, I was, I was touched, touched, touched. But there was like. After I was the initial like, oh my God, are you serious? Like people I hadn't thought of in like a bazillion years. After being touched and everything, I was like, this is kind of creepy. Like I was just yeah. like, what are you doing? Like who is t- like it? Just I don't know why. Who are but, those people? Right? Who are like like? And the thing is, is like, it's not that I didn't want to talk to them. It was just that they really wanted to talk to me. And I thought that was really odd. And my sister, she always has this thing where like people will hunt her down. Like she'll be like, you would not believe who contacted me. But I mean, like they'll actually contact her like directly, right? And she'll be like, can you believe it? And I'll just be like, wow. Although I like it. I mean, I like I, I, I like it more than she does. You know what I mean? Like I'm way more like, yay. But, but, but the thing is, there is a sort of point where people, there's like an over-obsession-ish where you're like, you know... I could live without this. Only thing I know about Facebook is if you want to be data mined, go ahead. There you go. If you want to be what? Data mined. Oh, data mined. Ahead. Well, well, everything. That's what da- that's what Facebook is. I mean, that's yeah. it. It's like yeah. it, it is like signing up for the NSA gift. It's like let me just gift. Well, I, okay. So I heard this story once where this girl wrote her life story on Facebook. She told the story of her parents getting, I swear this is true, I'm not making this up. She told the story, it was a friend of a friend. She told the story of her, her birth, her, her siblings' births, her parents getting married, their, the deaths. She like wrote this epic, beautiful story on Facebook. And I, I'm not joking, I went, oh my God, every single password and every bit of information and every one of her secret questions has been answered to the entire world. It's over for her. <laughs> like, that that was actually like all I like I, I couldn't even appreciate the story I was like that is like I mean because it's because it's not your community and it's not your circle it's not your friends it's the entire world exactly and so when I realized that I I just all of a sudden I was like I am not doing this I don't I can't because either you share or you don't you can't sort of share on Facebook either you're gonna you know, be forthcoming, which, you know, you have to be forthcoming in order to let people feel your presence. And I just was like, and I'm not a private person at all. I'm not private. I don't have any boundaries like that. So I was like, I can't really like play this game if I don't have super good. Ba- I mean, nobody has boundaries that this stuff. This, I mean, it's amazing the things that you find out on Facebook. You're like, I don't know. It's just so much, right? 
you know about yeah. everybody's kids and everybody's husbands and everyone who's cheating and what's well and the babies and it, it's like there's a part of it that's beautiful but the rest of it it's really just not for us and we're using it like it's for us but it's free and everything that's free is not for us yeah i mean facebook i mean everything's if everything's public then it's it's public domain and I don't think people truly understand that, that if it's in the public domain, then you have no privacy and you have no right to it. And it doesn't matter. And if something is out there, it's because the person who runs that page, who owns that page, wanted it out there. And it's not their own fault. It's no one else's fault that happens to view it. Well, I mean, but it, it's more than that. I mean, the, it's not, I mean, the CIA has come forward and said, we could never have dreamt of anything better than Facebook. <laughs> ever. We could never have created anything better than this. This is the greatest gift that's ever happened because we don't have to look to find it. We don't have to work to find out what anybody's doing. All we have to do is open up Facebook. Exactly. And, and there, I mean, first of all, in every one of the major companies, whether it's Google or Microsoft or, or Apple or, or Facebook or YouTube or whatever, they have everybody's on board nsa cia they're all on board they're already there they have back doors they don't have they don't have to ask permission to see anything private they're on board they're already there they're planted so and it's much more aggressive on something like facebook because it's it's on, you're only sharing personal stuff right so mm -hmm. like on linkedin you're sharing what you want because it's out like linkedin's advertising linkedin's you know it's networking for business so people are much more smart about what they choose like i like linkedin i actually really like it it's a great it's fun you know what i mean if you're into if you're professional it's fun because you can have your friends on there and stuff but you're not going to hear oh my god i got a new car i have a baby you know it's like it's, it's still just, it's still an evasion of privacy though it's, it's not the same though. people don't share the same level of, of garbage because it's remember it's stuff they want for business it's like it's a promotional it's like everything has to work towards you know, strengthening your business connections. Yeah. So it's it's a social networking s setup, but it's not like only about. I mean, who had a surgery? Who had babies? Who's sick? Who's dying? Who's and and again, it's not even like I don't want to know that stuff. I do. I just don't want everyone to know that about me, and I feel weird about it. And and actually, all my friends, like all my friends, like I actually started. I got you know this is a few years ago. I went. I went or like five years ago. I went on and I was like trying to get like really social network whatever. And I tried to contact some of my friends that were on there, and they didn't respond. So finally, later, I was like, you know, I contacted friends directly, and they all everybody said the same thing. They're all like, ugh, I hate Facebook. I don't. I just. Uh, and I was like, thank you. But I, you know, like I tried to sort of like get in that mentality that like, oh, everybody's doing it, but my friends aren't doing it. They don't like it either. <laughs> it's not the place for, for many people. I mean, it's, it's the surveillance state. You want to, you want to be surveilled, go on uh, Facebook, you know, it's great marketing though. I mean, I know people do like, I was listening to Ron Johnson the other day. We talked about this and he said, he'll get 2000 views on YouTube and he'll get 50,000 views on Facebook for the exact same thing in a quarter of the time. Yeah, I've heard that argument um, many from many people. You know, yesterday it's it's just funny. I can't Mark, believe Mark, it. Mark 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 McConnell is a, a classic case of that. He'll um, he'll make claims, and they're probably true. Like you know, when he made that video right after um, Lavoie died, where he was uh, saying um, lies, you know, what what happened, whatever. How he got like I don't know, eighty thousand, a hundred thousand views, and then like he'll go and, and talk about YouTubers. And say, oh well, you know, you're only getting 800 views or 200 views or whatever. You know, you you're not paid? worth my time. Do they get paid? On no, no, he doesn't get paid. He just, he just he was just enjoying his his fame, I guess. Oh well, that's nice. So a million people yeah. can see you and hate you all at once. Wait, so yeah. so yesterday, this is just so funny because I I just remember this. I was watching Dennis. I don't know somebody. He's actually a, he's an anchor. He does some some new shows, and he's really big into Donald Trump. And I and actually I like his um his energy not not so much. I definitely am not. I just like his energy. Whatever. He he seems like a really nice guy, and he he seems to have um his heart in the right place. So, anyways, I was watching I was watching his um this this different show, and it was about Facebook actually. And so I watched, and he was with like five other reporters, and or I mean, and I guess they they're all ex very successful reporters that are now really kind of bloggers reporters, right? Because they've yeah. moved into like the new sort of journalism of you know the, of the of this 
<sighs> COP21. Anyways, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you know, uh, anyway, you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah. yeah. So, um, agenda 21 time. So 21st century. So anyway, so they were talking about um, being on Facebook and having their, they'll, they'll have like, like even up to 100,000 likes on, on something like in 24 hours and they will go to bed and wake up and their page will be gone. And to the point, and this like blew me, this blew me away. He said, he literally, it was so bad. It happened so many times. He actually had to get an attorney. And I only paid attention to him saying this because this is a guy that has money. He's very successful. But when he said it, he didn't want to get an attorney. He was not interested in it. And when I, when I, when I realized with his clout and his success, he, the idea that he had to get an attorney says a lot because you would think no. And, and so they, they were having a discussion about this and all of these guys had had the exact same experience. And what they found was it depended if they were discussing something conservative, regardless of whether it's Trump or whatever, if it was a conservative uh, perspective, and these are very, um, I want to say conservative, but I, but I mean, they're very, these are not uh, crazy hit piece type of emotional dramatic freaks. These are not freaky, freaky journalists at all, like at all. They're really like nice, clean cut. They're just really normal. You know what I mean? They're like, you know, like our parents. They're like, yeah. they're, like so they're, they're like nice guys. And this guy said, um, they all had the exact same experience, like literally. And they were paying for advertising, these people. They were all paying for, that was like the bonus. They were paying for, for ads. And they're, pages just kept getting taken down, taken down, taken down. So this is all five guys. And one guy said it was so bad at a certain point that he purposefully did two pieces. And I mean, this is just so bizarre that I saw this. He said, I did one, a hit piece on Palestinians and one hit piece, it's like literally they were back to back and the other hit piece on Israel, you know, like just trashing Israel. And the other one crashing Palestine. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit my mic. I'm like moving my hands, waving, whoosh, like some crazy Italian woman. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he, and of course, he said, because it's so popular now to hate Israel. He, I mean, seriously, I don't even think these people were Jewish at all. Actually, I don't think any of them are Jewish. And he said, it's so popular. It's so in now to be um, so ridiculously open-minded. And so everything is so strangely um, contrived. He said, the hit piece on Palestine was down, but the, the hit piece on Israel, that stayed up. And I was I just thought, that is a trip. I mean, these guys had spent a lot of time thinking about this, and they were all, all of them were paying Facebook for advertising. Now, I don't even know what you get out of that, actually. I'm, that's why I asked if you get paid, because I don't, I'm just not sure how it works. I mean, I, I, think, yeah. I, th I think there is some, uh, some, some way to make money on Facebook, but uh... yeah. I don't know. I yeah. I, I think there is too, but I, I don't. I don't have a Facebook, so I couldn't say. Uh, yeah, me too. I, I think I think a couple of years ago when I was uh, looking at, it, I think there was, but you had to like be approved or young something. Young and dumb. When you were young and dumb. Yeah, when I was more young and more dumb. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, um, I heard I heard um, a Pete Santilli story. I can't remember the the woman's name. But she was uh, head of the uh, what was it the truckers for the Constitution. She she ran a page that was like getting all kinds of followers and likes, and um, and then she got contacted by Pete Santilli. This is according to her. This is the, these are all allegations, of course. And uh, the next day, her page got taken down, and she had to go over to his page, and basically, it according to her, it it got taken over. Every the whole movement got taken over, and like. She made all kinds of allegations, but I just wanted to say that. When was this? I think it was 2013. Oh, okay. So this is back when he was bullying people around. <laughs> what, what, what was he doing? Bullying <laughs> people. Oh, I guess what, so. What did, I mean, I, wait, what did I? What did that sound like? No, I just, I just, I just didn't hear you. Oh, okay, I thought maybe it sounded like something really funny. No, but oh. I mean, I mean, no, because you've, I mean, you've told me that he, that I mean, I don't, you know, I don't have any interaction with Pete Santilli, but I mean, you've mentioned that he was a little bit of a, of a pushy, trolly kind of aggressive guy, which I, I, I hate people like that. Like I hate him. He's a get in your face kind of guy. But online, right? Oh, online. Yo, I've, I've heard, I have heard that, uh, he, he is the king of trolls when he was around. That's what I heard. When did trolling become socially acceptable? I don't get it. No idea. I do not get it. I just like, seriously, I would police it. I, I, but I mean, that's me. I'm just totally like, I have no tolerance for ugly, mean, 
assholes. Like, I just, I have no patience for it. I'm like, just go away, either kill yourself or go away. What are, either one will work for me, whatever, <laughs> whatever it takes. Just go away. Don't get out of my face. I never want to see you again. You are dead to me. Go. And you, go. And you know, and, and, you, and you know, the person that uh, supposedly Pete Santilli put in charge while he was in prison, you, you saw the kind of trolling that went on because of that, right? You mean the threatening of, of Pete Santilli's like, like, significant other yeah the same guy he put in charge you know threatened his significant other that was nice i mean i don't you know i don't i kind of i have a weird feeling that that all of that stuff may have been blown Contrived. up out of proportion no no i don't think so i i see things differently now because you know i i you know i never knew i never watched that those show that show i know you're talking about um but you know shit fire um but i never <laughs> watched that show and i didn't know those people right i mean of course you know um that guy asked me to you know help him research them or whatever and so junkie, I paid yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I, and i didn't i didn't know the show so what's interesting is, is i've i've done some some thinking about this now and i i actually think that a lot of the drama that we may have seen may have been instigated by crazy people attacking because from my perspective, I mean, I'm not easily roused. Like I'm, you're, I mean, I'm never, you're never gonna get me to threaten people or to do, or to create violence or like, I mean, I'm just not, I'm not that person. Like that's, that's not my weakness. Like I don't have that like, ah, like, I mean, as neurotic as I can get, it's kind of internal. Like I just, I don't do that. I'm not, a, I'm not a violent person or whatever. So, but, but what I'm saying is, is when I think about, you know, how crazy they all got, I have to say, I give them a little cushion because the same person that has been assaulting me in every way, you know, emotionally, verbally, with these crazy new attacks about, you know, me doing just things that are beyond imaginable. And, and so, you know, and here's the thing, it's like, it gets old and, you know, I do know people. I actually do know people and I, I've been, you know, I've been holding back. I really have, but I'm just saying, it's like the kinds of things that they're pushing into. This guy will go to any length. So when I, when I imagine, what could he? And remember when I came around, and I don't know if it was when you first came around, that guy was making like video hit piece after video after video after video after video after, video after of the of of the shitfire show. So, you know, I mean, in a certain way, I I've decided to sort of go back. And that guy, and, that that guy's lost his way too. Remember, he whatever. Used to make I mean, that guy's not. He's insane. I don't know what. I don't know. There, you know, he. No, something's wrong with him. I mean, there's no question about it. He's damaged. I mean, please get a life. You know what I mean? Just get your own life. But that this is what he does. He picks people. <laughs> he picks people to fuck with. And says, "Oh, they're doing mean things to me." But what I'm saying, and that's what he said to me, that they were doing mean things to him, and he was scared, and blah blah blah, blah. and that, and now he's playing that game with me and whatever. And I'm just like going wait, were they that crazy? Or did you just like find the whatever the thing was to mess with and get other people to mess with you? Because remember, he asked me to mess with them. I've, I didn't. What, what I find it's hilarious is this guy is the same guy who was making video after video of Professor Doom. Oh, and, yeah. like, and it was like he was like trying to gather a following by making, I mean, hey, I support making, he, when he made those videos, but it was, just, it, was just, it was just funny because if you just look at his channel, he was a, basically, he, he was a troll channel. He's a troll. That's right. He's a troll. And, and, then, he, and then he comes to you and says he's scared. Totally. Like, scared because totally. he's a troll. Totally. He said he was totally freaked out. People were calling him. He was totally nervous. He thought that his, he was, you know, he was possibly being watched. I mean, he was so paranoid. But here's the thing about I think him. He, I think he's playing the same game now with another right. girl. With right. With another girl. And she's, oh. she, she totally took the bait. Well, here's the thing about it. Like, my point is, is when I look back, I see things differently because now I give people cushion. Now I'm like, you know what? maybe what we saw and maybe what a lot of people saw isn't quite what was really going on because i mean i have a good support system number one and number two i don't i don't have a propensity towards violence or even anger that's that's not my thing but i want to just say you know that guy's a boxer he's a man he's a boxer and I'm not saying that he has he has anger issues or anything. That's, I'm not. I'm actually not projecting stuff onto him. I'm saying he's a man and a boxer, which means he's he's a physical. He you know he 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 was fighting for a living. So I mean, it's not that far fetched 
to imagine that he could be made angry because that's how his makeup is. Like he's like, you know what I'm saying? Like he had to turn that channel on and off for, for years. I'm just giving him the benefit of the doubt. I don't know him and I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not trying to like say they're good, they're bad, they're indifferent. I'm just saying everything that we saw, that other people saw, all that drama, I just have to say, I don't buy it anymore. I kind of imagine now that everybody's a victim if they're touching that whole fake drama that is not real because any whatever they're doing to me we all do okay the way i treat you you know the way i treat you is the way i treat most everyone the way you treat me is the way you treat most everyone it's just levels of it right you get closer to somebody and they get more and more and more of you but we aren't we aren't human beings are pretty pretty simple we all treat each other the way we treat people like i don't go walk around attacking people and calling them names i don't do that people do that to me i know when they do that to me that's what they do it's not about me I don't need to, to personalize it, right? So what, what I'm saying is every single person that's ever been attached to anybody that's that much of a liar and a, and a shit disturber and a controversy creator and a victim, all that stuff, you have to like go, wait a second, maybe none of that's really what I saw. Because if I was a psycho, oh my God, I'd have a pitchfork. Seriously. Here, <laughs> come on. I mean, if, if I, but I just, I don't have a propensity for that. And to be honest with you, the more they do and the more he does, the more calm I get and the more clear I get and other things too. But it's like, it's like at a certain point, it stops being an emotional thing. It starts being like, how far are you going to go? You want to play? Let's play. Let's play. <laughs> I, know I know the law. That I know. I've done my, uh, I've done my time with the litigation. So, um, and I don't mean my litigation. I mean with the litigation people. I got the litigation people. You know. Oh, there you go. I'm just saying. It's like so. The, I'm, I'm, but anyways, my point really was was that all those people, every single one of them, that is attached to somebody crazy like that, he's a very good crazy person. He's good at it. People feel sorry for him. Even what is it? What is it? I mean, remember that video about him where he was like naked in the woods with another guy <laughs> <laughs> doing like doing like hallucinogenics? Yeah, what yeah, is I that mean, about? Now that that's was, wait, now that's some incriminating stuff right there. Well, that's that was that, that's that, that was about. that was like his original channel. That was he's had multiple channels, and that's where he basically um identified himself it was like the his real name was the name of the channel and he basically exposed a lot of stuff about himself well you know what i decided since there's been just so much misrepresentation i decided to dump everything that guy ever said to me online i'm just gonna dump it i'm just gonna that, dump it that sounds like a good him. idea I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna describe it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get into the details of it because I, i'm like you know what i don't think it's interesting not at all but I do think that the people that he talks about will find it interesting. It's I think, like he uh, talks that, smack about everybody. That does sound interesting. Hmm, I wonder what's right? in there. I wonder what's in there. Hmm. Well, I mean, hmm. he just, he, he isn't the person that, whatever. I mean, I, and all of this is just so silly, except it's, I guess it's silly if it's somebody else is really how it works out. I mean, it sounds, I know nobody cares about it, but it is, it is really strange. Although I do want to say another shout out to Jason Rogash who made my day yesterday. Love that guy. I'm just, I'm completely love that guy because he's so straight up and he, he's, he's clear, he's educated, he's, no, he's opinionated, he doesn't hold back. And he, and he, it's like, and he comes from a place of like knowledge. And I mean, you know, not that he knows everything. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I love his, his like, I don't know. It's just so nice. It's so refreshing because we're all, I don't know. And also Michael Strope. I love him too. I do. We're going to do some shout outs to him. We're going to do some, some questions back and forth with us to his channel. We're going to have like a, a channel, like a, a channel off. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I think it's like totally fun. Channel off. <laughs> Since we talked a little bit about, um, about Facebook and stuff and about privacy, I wanted to just touch base about, um, about the cloud and okay. what, it, what it, what it kind of means. And, you know, I just like I don't like Facebook. I also don't like Dropbox because uh, it's, it's they've had so many problems with security. And I, I actually worked with an attorney once that like used Dropbox, and I was like, dude, you can't, you can't do that, dude. You can't. 
You're not supposed to. Yeah. But so, um, so when we when we use the cloud for um, our backup, um, there is a tremendous amount of lost lost control of our information. And one of the one of, a really powerful way to keep your data available and still in a cloud format and uh, still um, not readily available at any moment of any day and time to the NSA, CIA, Homeland Security, which I don't say that because I have something to hide or I think anybody else has something to hide. Quite the opposite. I think I know that we no longer have the kind of um, protections that we've always had. And so those things, you don't need to have, a, they don't need to have a reason and you definitely don't need to have done anything wrong for um, every single solitary thing that you say, do, and exchange is, or save is uh, monitored. I mean, everything that we mail is taken, the photo photographs are taken of all of our um, US postal mail, every single thing that, that goes. These things aren't even personal anymore. They've, they've instituted these rules that are just like these blanket rules. All of our emails, all of our phone calls, they're all recorded and saved. Um, everything is saved. So, um, if you have documents and I, like I do, I have documents and stuff that I don't want to share. I mean, look, like, like they hacked into my Gmail and I don't even use Gmail, but they managed to get pictures and, and data. And it's like, not that they're not, they weren't, they weren't exciting. And I certainly have nothing to hide, but like, yuck, like super yuck, you know? <laughs> um, and it, and it just reminded me of, you know, there, there are, um, products where you can have a cloud within your home where you can like like it's you know it's, they use programs like dropbox where you can literally have it in the house it can be going all the time you can back up your stuff but you can just put stuff in the cloud and out and it's just a great way to have the convenience that we talk about in the cloud and they actually will have it where you can do it you know from farther away where you can log into it but that way you'll have your data without it just being on the google server or on the Dropbox server or the Apple server. Cause like iCloud is, I, I don't like it. I mean, I've, I don't like it. I don't um, like cloud technology at all. Not at all. A, I just use a thumb, thumb drive and call it a day. That's what I do. Well, you know what? I have like 300,000 thumb drives, thumb drives. <laughs> I do really. And they can be, they can have, put viruses put on them and stuff. I've also got a, a million of those little sand disks, like a million. I wish uh, we had pictures still. Don't you miss pictures? Photographs? Oh, well, photographs. <laughs> yeah. I totally do. I mean, like, because when something's on a drive, you're like, oh, yeah, it's there. I started putting, like, little stickers, like, little um, printed labels on my thumb drives, which is so funny. Because like, you don't know what's on them. Well, you know, I also would burn DVDs. I used to do that a long time ago. But, uh, yeah, but even DVDs where, I mean, I don't know. I, it's still so much nicer. I mean, photographs. And, and I, I, also, I also get the uh, external hard drives. The oh, real, yeah, yeah. That's ones. Yeah, I would do that too, but I, I, I'm kind of, of these I'm burnt out. I'm burnt out on backing up. I don't even. Me too. I don't even care on. I don't even care about my data anymore. I've usually I usually just delete it. I just delete it basically. But see, that's <laughs> why. That's why it's kind of sad. It's like we don't have. We, we're not going to have history. Like when I look at my pic. Seriously, I have boxes and boxes and boxes of my pictures, from like. I mean, I love my pictures. I will never give my pictures up. I'm serious. And the thing is, now that they're all on thumb drives and stuff, it's like, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I go to my, my, my aunts, I don't even want to say her name. I go to my aunts and I, I literally, I, I take pictures of every single picture on the wall. Like, I love the pictures. She has great pictures of me, like better than anybody. I'm like, seriously? How'd you come up with that? <laughs> Where'd that come from? And she like, she just keeps pulling them out. I'm like, God. That's love, isn't it? That's what love looks like. <laughs> is when people have your pictures and they love you. There you go. There you go. All right. So I'm actually going to close the show out. We have um, more more going on tomorrow. And um, did you have any final thoughts on this one? Uh, just stay safe, everybody. Stay safe. Stay safe. Yeah. Look out for the uh, for the drama. Yeah. Avoid that drama. He's he's looking for he's looking for you. Because he's not getting what he wants here. Anyway, but really, avoid him. Avoid him. Yeah. Really. Anyway. Until, until next time. Until next time. We'll see you then.